On today's IRS tax update, we will check in on the latest developments in what will be one of the busiest weeks of the tax season, following the official end of refund holds under the PATH Act and a growing number of tax returns being filed daily. Meanwhile, we are receiving additional reports of viewers encountering codes 570 and 971 on their tax transcripts, so we will break down the top causes and letters those impacted by this may receive, and we will check in on those who are still seeing no tax updates and why that does not necessarily indicate a problem with your return. Now, recapping where things currently stand as this week will be one of the busiest for the IRS as tax refunds will be released almost every day, including those that were previously delayed due to the PATH Act. We have already heard from a number of viewers who received that direct deposit refund in their bank accounts ahead of the exact refund date, and that is expected to happen for some depending on their particular bank. Now, the IRS will send an electronic transmission of tax refunds out ahead of the actual date, and some banks, after they receive that message, will actually release that deposit to you ahead of time. As of the latest update, the IRS has indicated they have processed 25.4 million tax returns out of 25.5 million they have received, but that will include tax returns previously on hold that were not yet assigned a refund date. Based on comments for those still experiencing refund delays, we are seeing a growing number of viewers encountering the 570 and 971 codes on their tax transcripts as seen here since the last massive tax transcript update. Now, if this is happening to you at the moment, you are likely to fall into one of the following three scenarios, which we will recap one by one. Starting off with, if you are encountering these two codes with different dates as seen on this actual viewer transcript shown here, this means the IRS either needs more time to work on the potential issue the computer has found, or they need additional information from you so that tax processing can continue. Now the 570 code represents the potential issue with your tax return which has been put on hold, while the 971 code represents a notice being sent out. The date listed on the 971 line is the date you should expect to receive that notice in the mail. And in the case of this viewer, it is March 4th. Both the 971 and 570 codes will have a $0 amount on the same line and that is normal. Now under this scenario, these are the three likely letters you can expect to receive starting off with an IRS letter in the CP0. Five series like this one on the far left, which is a request by the IRS for the taxpayer to prove the income and or tax withholdings you reported on their tax return. If you receive this letter, it is often a request for copies of pay stubs and the W-2 form you received from your employer. And in cases we have seen, this could in fact be completely random, even if you have never had any previous tax issues. The IRS also will receive a copy of your tax forms from your employer and other businesses, so they may be comparing the two copies for accuracy. The second likely notice some will receive is those who are claiming the Earned Income Tax Credit or Child Tax Credit, which will be the CP-75 notice as seen here, requesting the taxpayer to provide documentation as it relates to their dependents such as a birth certificate, proof of residency, and age. Again, this is usually a random selection, so even if you have been claiming the same dependent for many years, it unfortunately does not mean you are exempt from having to go through this process. Meanwhile, the third likely letter is the 2644C notice, as seen on the far right, which simply indicates the IRS needs additional time to review your tax return, which is often quoted at 60 days. For those who receive this letter, that is not a definite timetable. And as we have reported over the last two years, it is possible you may receive multiple 60-day notices while you wait for the IRS to resolve any issue. The second scenario is that you are seeing the 570 and 971 codes on your tax transcripts with the same date listed next to them as seen on this tax transcript. Now in this case, it means the IRS computer identified a potential issue with your tax return and has auto-corrected the error which may have resulted in an adjusted tax refund. If this is the case, the letter you are likely to receive is this IRS letter, the CP-12 notice informing you an error was encountered on the tax return, often a miscalculation which they have addressed resulting in an adjusted refund. If you agree with the changes, the IRS made no further action is necessary, and you will receive that refund within four to six weeks. Now if you disagree with the IRS on the adjustment, you can appeal that and should do so within 30 days. Finally, the third scenario is for those who are just encountering the 570 code on their tax transcript as seen here. In this situation, it means the IRS is currently working on the issue, and no matter the outcome of the situation, you will see a 971 code appear usually after your next tax transcript update. Meanwhile, more viewers continue to report that they are still seeing no updates on their tax transcripts or refund status results like seen here. 
Now it is important to know it can take up to four weeks for updates to appear after the tax return was accepted or the start of the tax season on January 29th, whichever date is later. And as of this recording, we are still within that normal time frame. Also, do remember just because you may received faster updates in previous tax years, that does not automatically guarantee you will experience the same thing during the current tax season. While transcripts are updated throughout the week between the hours of midnight and 6 a.m. with the actual day depending on the last two digits of your transcript cycle code, we will see the next mass transcript update occur during the morning of February 23rd, which will then be reflected in a mass update of Where's My Refund the morning of February 24th. Another reminder for viewers, if you do not see an update to your refund status results by 7 a.m., there will be no additional updates for the day. Several viewers have tried so many times throughout the day to check that the IRS locked their ability to continue checking for the remainder of the day. Let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax issue. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.